Hello everyone, I wish you a very warm greeting. I'm here of class 10D is here to present my science experiments introduction video. The following PPT is made by my friend Prithvi. In this video, we are going to talk about the projector we are making on the topic of fun with science. So let's get started. In this video, we are going to talk about on these contents given below, which are based on our project. The following contents are introduction to projectors, how many types of projectors there are, advantages and disadvantages, and last the conclusion. Introduction A video projector is an image projector that receives a video signal and projects the corresponding image on a projection screen using a lens system. Video projectors are widely used for many applications such as conference room presentations, classroom training, home theater, and concerts. As we can see, the history of projector is not really that long going back only as far as the 1970s when the first projectors came out in the form of CRT projectors which were known as cathode ray tube or brown tube. While having the advantage of displaying smoothly flowing movement, CRT projectors had drawbacks including image distortion and issues in reducing the size of the projectors. The four main things to look for the type of projector you are using. Is it LCD, DLP or CRT? The lumen output of lamp or we can say the brightness of lamp should be 800 to 1000 for LCD. DLP at 1000 is good. Don't get it too high or colors will look poor. Less than 1500 is really needed for good color reproduction. The resolution for optimal picture, make sure to get XGA or WXGA. A very key point is contrast ratio above. 300 is to 1 blacks look dark gray. 1000 ratio 1 plus is excellent. What are CRT? CRT stands for cathode ray tube projectors. They are one of the first digital projectors that was put out on the market. The cathode ray tube is a vacuum tube where an electron beam comes into contact with a phosphor sent surface. The CRT uses those tubes to project an image. In the most of the projector, there were three tubes. One was on the red, one blue and one green. When video signal were processed, they would go their specific tube. The tube all had lens that would project the image giving the projection. The technology was developed in the late 80s, was not the utilized until the 1930s. These tubes were being used to project image inside of the televisions. These projectors are generally used in fixed installations because of their size. CRTs are typically not as bright as other technologies, but the refined picture quality of a properly calibrated CRT is tough to beat. There are two main competing projector structures in the market. DLP which stands for Digital Light Processing and LCD which stands for Liquid Crystal Display. It would be hard to say that any of the technology is better, but you may need to consider advantages and disadvantages of each before you buy a projector. There are also projectors using LEDs as a light source instead of traditional lamps. Out of these three technologies currently used in projectors, market at home and office. Only two can be regarded as highly used, LCD and DLP. What is DLP? DLP stands for Digital Light Processing, the technology which is developed by Texas Instruments. It has completely different structure compared to LCD. The DLP chip is a reflective surface made up of thousands or millions of microscopic mirrors. Each mirror represents a single pixel. Light from the projector's lamp is goes to the surface of the DLP chip. The mirror turn on or turn off so the pixel is on or off. The color are generated through color wheel. Else there are DLP projectors which use three DLP chips. Each of it represents three colors, again red, green and blue. Usually three DLP chip technology is used in professional or home theater projectors and is much more expensive compared to one chip technology. As we can see how the one chip DLP projector works from the given diagram below. The advantages of DLP are they are filter free design, sealed projection system. New DLP projector usually have sealed and filter free projection system. So you will never need to clean or change air filter nor experiencing problem related to filled air filter. They have higher contrast, less pixelation, and they are lighter and smaller. 
Also, the disadvantages of DLP are they have rainbow effects. Color wheels can produce rainbow effects, which are referred to as color separation artifacts, which are momentary flashes of bandit colors that look like rainbows. They occur at random and they only last for an instant. The problem tend to appear only in slower color wheel projectors. Also, rainbow artifacts problem never appears in three DLP chip projectors, thanks to its three single DLP chip technology. What are LCD? Construction of optical system in LCD projectors is based on an image created using three liquid crystal matrix. How it works? Lamp produces a powerful light. Then a series of colorful reflections of light are passed through filters and lamp creates white and multicolored reflections on the stream of light representing the three primary colors. Again, red, green and blue. Each of these streams is concentrated at one of the liquid crystal panels. Images from individual LCD panels are then passed through the lens. In this way, the signal of the video source, for example like PC, DVD or etc. is displayed on the screen placed in front of the projectors. The advantages of LCD are they have higher contrast ratio in specific projector models and they have sharper image in specific projector models. The disadvantages of LCD are given below. LCD panel degradation. They have low contrast ratio. The design of equipment equipping them with high quality optics. They have high weights. Impurities in panels like dust blobs. LCD structure projector should be cleaned in every 300 hours of use. They have color decay and they are limited in lifetime. The other disadvantages are screen door effect. It is when the line between pixel becomes visible or we can say the separation of pixel becomes visible and this effect becomes distracting. Dust issues. Due to dust accumulation, contrast ratio might be get lower, reduced up to 50% over time. Red pixels, you might heard about it. While talking about LCD monitors, the same issues comes to LCD projectors. This happen when one pixel becomes permanently off or on. If it is only a single pixel, you might even not notice it. This is how the DLP projector look like. And LCD projectors look like this. So let's go for the conclusion. If you want the best projector money can buy, a 3 chip DLP projector is the best you can get. From our experience, we tend to think that there are more LCD disadvantages than advantages. But mainly, we sell and work with data projectors which usually display static views and in those cases, all LCD disadvantages just appear in all of its glory. Turning into home cinema market, it would be harder to tell if LCD structure projectors have more disadvantages or advantages over DLP structure projectors. We recommend reading about both LCD and DLP technologies. Try them if it is possible and only then make decisions. So that's it for today. I hope you understood about the projector and its information. Have a nice day. Thank you.